Hi officers, welcome to the repeat questions analysis for prelims 2022. The object of this analysis is to make you realize the huge impact previous year questions have on your performance in exam. Let's start. The analysis has been done in tabular form with four columns. Starting from the left, the first column is related PYQ. So we pick a question from prelims 2022 come to the last column so here we have a question from prelims 2022 and the related PYQ is in the first column this uh, PYQ can be from 1979 till 2021 all the years I've studied and compiled the related questions the second column from the left is the answer to the related PYQ RP is the acronym I've used for related PYQ. So the second column talks about the answer to the uh, related PYQ. The third column talks about the year of the related PYQ. And the fourth, the last column, of course, is the question of prelims 2022 that has been compared to the PYQ. Let us uh, now begin the analysis. So let's start with this question of prelims 2022. It read, rapid financing instrument and rapid credit facility are related to the provisions of lending by which of the following. We have ADB, IMF, United Nations Environment Program Finance Initiative and World Bank. Now guys, questions regarding lending by big financial institutions have been asked five times so far in prelims from 1979 onwards. We have all these five questions given here. The first time we had such a question was in 1982. Then we had in 1984, 1993. So these questions have not been very frequent, but they have been uh, asked repeatedly. Then we had in 1999 and 2020 is the latest one. So if we look at the nature of the question, all of these questions, most of these have been one statement question. By one statement, I mean the question is there and then four options. Just like in this particular question of 2022, we had the question statement. This is a one statement question. And then we have the four options we have to pick the answer from. If we compare the question with the nature of the questions uh, of the yester years, we can see in 2020, again, we had a one statement question. In uh, 1999, it was not exactly a one statement question, but it was just a derivative of it whenever we have to match uh, different things. So, you know, one item from list one is to be matched with another item of list two. So it is a derivative of one statement question. Then in 1993 also, we had one statement in uh, 1984 and in 1982. Every time such a question has been asked, that is on lending by a big international financial institution, these have been one statement questions. Let us now see if uh, the previous year questions help us in answering the 2022 uh, question. So in 2020, the question asked read, gold tranche or reserve tranches, uh, reserve tranche refers to a loan system of World Bank, one of the operations of a, a central bank, a credit system of WTO, a credit system granted by IMF to its members. Now the answer to the 2020 question was Delta right gold tranche or reserve tranche we are looking at a loan given by a big international institution so imf is the answer i'm not solving the question in detail that would be beyond the objective of this video or i'm not even solving the question through elimination this question can be done without knowledge through elimination but that is beyond the scope again of this video so let me just uh, talk about what is relevant to us here so if we have studied this question of 2020 we know that such kind of uh, tranche loans, loan tranches are given by IMFs. Then we have 1999 question, look at the third uh, statement here and the answer is Bravo, the answer is Bravo, so third is Alpha, right? And this is given in our NCRTs also. So IMF provides loans to address short term balance of payment problem. So short term balance of payment means there will be uh, crisis situation, short term crisis situation are there, urgent requirement of money is there, which is uh, uh, helped by IMF. Then if you look at, uh, let me just 
uh, go beyond the 1993 question. It's actually not directly related to our 2022 question. Let us come to the 1982 question, right? The recent IMF loan to India, see 1982, the question was asked, recent IMF loan to India will help immediately, the answer is C, to correct adverse balance of payments. Again, adverse balance of payment, and we know that in this times we were uh, facing a lot of problem with regards to balance of payments, which ultimately culminated in the reforms of 1991. If we look at the question of 1984, here the answer is bravo. Uh, this time the question is not on IMF, it is uh, on World Bank, right? So another big financial institution that gives loans. So World Bank loan is given to, the answer is bravo, it reads, given to countries for sound projects for development purposes. So we have seen that in the IMF case, the uh, loan is given to uh, reform the balance of payment crisis, resolve the balance of payment crisis. In the case of World Bank, it is given for developmental purpose. And another uh, question, the 1993 question we can see, it sees, uh, it says, which one of the following types of borrowings from the IMF has the softest servicing conditions? Second tranche loan, SAF, ESAF, SAF stands for structural uh, adjustment program, E is the extended structural adjustment program and uh, oil facility, right? So you can relate the 1993 question to 2020 question, the word tranche, right? Second tranche loan. See, this is how uh, PYQs help in solving the question. So we can note that whenever it is an urgent requirement for short term crisis like balance of payment, the IMF helps and if we look at the question of Freelance 2022, it says rapid financing instrument, when rapid financing is needed or rapid credit is needed, when is rapid credit needed, you know, when there is an urgency. So the best answer in this question has to be IMF, right? So this is how these PYQs help in solving uh, the questions in prelims. So guys, this was the first video in the analysis series and uh, let me know what you feel about it in the comments. Also guys, for everybody's benefit, I have decided to make these videos free for everyone. But uh, of course, it uh, takes quite some effort to uh, do the analysis and prepare the PDF, etc. Uh, in order to sustain the work, I have uh, made the PDF chargeable. The PDF is a collection of the pages that you see in these videos. There's nothing extra in the PDF. If you wish to support my work, if you like my work, you can consider purchasing the PDF, which is available, will be available actually once all the videos are recorded for a nominal price of Rs. 99. For more such content on prelims, consider joining my Telegram channel. Link is in description. See you next time.